Like memories submerged in the fissures of the mind, the deep winter snow buries something of great importance. It could be right there in front of you, but unless you dig beneath the surface, all will be just as it seems, barren and forgotten. 1999 marked Key's debut with her first product, Canon, a visual novel following Aizawa Yuichi's return to a town after seven years of absence, a town he has long forgotten, and in spite of his faulty memory, adapts to a normal life alongside his cousin and aunt, who welcomed him in after his parents' departure overseas. Becoming reacquainted with this place from childhood, causes both new memories to sprout and old to return. The story follows a similar structure to most romance-based visual novels, where the reader makes choices for Yuichi's dialogue and actions in order to go down a specific heroine's route. In doing so, learn about Minase Nayuki, Misaka Shiori, Sawatari Makoto, Kawasumi Mai, Kurata Sayori, and Tsukimiya Ayu, possibly reigniting connections and memories that have lay dormant for seven years. The cast sports well-rounded personalities and backstories, giving a distinct touch to the route's plot and the relationship they form with Yuichi, whose sarcastic, outgoing, and teasing personality seamlessly meshes with even the most non-talkative of individuals. These traits of his ensures that all five routes are impartial in producing a constant stream of witty dialogue and entertaining character chemistry. A few eccentric traits mixed with the peculiar situation is woven into every introduction. A lone girl roams the school at night, on the hunt for demons. The energetic Ayu is searching for something that not even she herself knows or an amnesiac who holds an instinctive hatred for our protagonist. Each have their own circumstances that pique curiosity. Some have an aura of mystique that hangs over them, or it could be something as simple as enjoying a cup of ice cream in the snow while sick from school. No matter how odd or out of place these traits feel, there's this feeling that a deep reasoning lies behind them. This foundation allows each route to broach various topics and concepts, drawing a firm line between events, relationships, and developments. There are sparse overlaps and ideas between Canon's routes, giving every last one a wholly unique feeling. Though all this tied together through Yuichi, expanding his past and giving meaning to his return. Although many laughs and fun times are to be shared, Canon's core is an emotional drama that is explored through him and the bonds he makes. Most iterations have Yuichi struggling with what he has forgotten. Underneath the cheerful, everyday life, his inner monologue covers the atmosphere with a tinge of melancholy. His repressions manifest in subconscious uncertainty as he becomes reacquainted with this town and its people. It leaves you wondering what possibly could have happened. What is it about this town that leaves him uncomfortable despite his welcoming family here? Not only these questions, but those regarding the heroines are explored in tandem. Over the course of the chosen plotline, the main lead's relationship is a slow burn carried by their interactions and the secrets the two hold. That as they are forced to work through their current predicament, you come to see them for who they are, leading you to deeply feel for their situation. Whether it's an unrequited love that has stagnated for many years, coming to terms with a predetermined future, or losing sight of oneself. All are handled with respect and an emphasis on the emotional state of the characters as they work through their problems. Though each struggle is drastically different from the next, what prevails is the importance of finding comfort and happiness in the present, in spite of the past or what lies ahead in the future. Canon tells an emotionally gripping story centered around memories, what it means to forget, to remember, and the importance of making new ones. 
All in all, learning to accept the good in the present day. It's a theme that is constantly building and held together through the completion of each path, that hits harder through subsequent playthroughs. However, when a certain ending is reached, there can be an almost unnatural turn that seems too abrupt. Oddly enough, I thought this was all the more interesting to see, as the final scenes make it abundantly clear there is something amiss, that a single piece to make sense of it all is still to be found, turning any momentary confusion into intrigue. However, the effectiveness of this style does depend on your route order. All routes are available from the beginning with you being able to choose as you please, but there is one sequence in particular that I recommend. The order I followed was from a guide on Fua novel, going through Nayuki's route first, followed by Shiori's, Makoto's, Mai's, and finally Ayu's. Depending on the order you choose, certain elements of foreshadowing may have a different effect. But I thought this path introduced another side of canon's story and answered questions in a natural and climactic manner. I especially recommend doing Ayu's last, as I consider it to be the most finale-esque and thematic ending to canon as a whole. And even after all routes are completed, there's an odd vagueness to it all that leaves much room for interpretation. Of course, there's no right or wrong way to experience it, so all I can give is my recommendation. Being Key's debut work, Canon is a simple yet touching story, that through its subtle mysteries and entertaining character interactions proves to be an engaging visual novel. Though it is a bit dated in its production, it remains an emotional piece that'll provoke a whole spectrum of emotions starting from laughs and ending in tears. Canon is the start of my trek through all of Key's catalog, and cannot ask for a better beginning. It's a story that had me engrossed thoroughly in its characters, plot, and mystery, yet still shows many areas that could be improved with their future works. I'm currently reading through Air, and that steady progression is well apparent. I can't wait to share my thoughts on that as well. So with that, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. Later.